last time I did laundry was um, maybe three years ago. Last time I bought underwear was 1998. Oh, 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 she hasn't bought underwear in 20 years. Woman doesn't use toilet paper to save money. Extreme cheapskate. I can't wait to see how this one plays out. Hi, my name is Kate Hashimoto and I'm an extreme cheapskate. I'm a licensed CPA and I've lived in New York for three years. Although how are you going to be dirty in the dirtiest cities of dirty necessityism? Oh my god. It's the most expensive city to live in. I found ways to get around it. I have only a dollar thirty here. Would you take that? If I have to spend money, I cannot avoid it. I will try to pay as little as possible. So you scamming niggas. I am a cheapskate for a number of reasons. After I graduated from college, I pretty much assumed I'd be employed for the rest of my life. But then I was a casualty of the dot-com crash. I've lost a career. Not for $25. Okay. That's fair. I learned that the best way to live is to be very frugal and minimize my expenses. Best it's way is $10. a stretch. I have only a $5 worth of change. Would you be able to take $5 for that? No, no. Unfortunately, I can't. You can't bring it down? Yeah, I wish and I could, I but I can't. I'll go elsewhere. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I'll be damned if a woman came up to me with an envelope of change trying to buy something, bro. Get out of here. I guess I'll have to f my mom and dad. I generally try to avoid spending any money at all. New York has quite a few venues where people can get together and exchange things. The stop and swap is one of the more formal free markets. Welcome. Hi. How are you? Good, you thanks. You drop off? Yes, I do. People can bring things that they don't need to the stop and swap. And then anyone right. who goes there can take anything that other people bring. That's cool. That's actually a cool concept. You never know what you're going to find at the stop and swap. Take that hat off, please. Please take that BS off immediately, bro. You know that don't look good on you. If I use a paper towel in a public restroom, I'm drying off cans that I washed clean, so I keep on and reuse them. Paper towel many times. I pay to throw something away. <laughs> Her side eye looked just like a titan, bro. No, we're about to find a titan, bro. Yes! Yeah! I don't believe in paying for furniture. I have never bought furniture. Oh, there's some chairs in the dumpster. Hmm. In the I dumpster? Uh, uh, uh. Through I mean, up, discarded furniture. you know what? Some people got to do it. I don't know what her banking situation is. I don't know what her, you know, bank account looking like. You got to do it. You got to do it. Street before the trash picked it up. Well, this is pretty dirty. But this one looks much cleaner. I mean, it's in the trash can. Of course, well, it's going to be look dirty. In, like upscale furniture, but... I would say I probably saved at least a couple thousand dollars on furniture. Mm, a couple this thousand? Works well, and it's much cleaner. Yeah, but I know that hurts your back after sitting in it for 30 minutes. I average about $200 a month in basic living expenses. I own Only my own home being clear. I just have to pay real estate taxes and condo fees. I didn't pay anything for furniture. I got all the furniture that I have either off the street or from hand-me-downs from other people. This is my makeshift couch. Uh, okay, okay, girl, you're stretching it. I need to know how much money you make. I need to know how much money you make because you're stretching it right now. This in the trash outside the school dorm at the end of the school year. It's also my guest. She says she's a CPA, right? I'm a licensed CPA. That's a tax person. How much do CPAs get? It's a very wide margin. But if she's getting near the low end, I can understand. This is my bed where I sleep. And uh, these are actually yoga mats that somebody was trying to get rid of. So I took them. I do consider my bed comfortable and I don't really have a need for a real bed. Beds cost hundreds of dollars. And that is absolutely outrageous. I would never invite no one to my, my house. And here is my small kitchen. My place came with a dishwasher. The dishwasher is a waste of uh, water and energy. Now energy? Storage space. This is an electric stove that I got using a free gift certificate. I have this because my place came with a gas stove and oven, but the utility company was charging me $17 a month, minimum month. Okay, okay, girl, you need to stop. You need to stop. $17 a month. Now the stove is a storage area. And I also have some magazines here to um, use it as a table. As a table? What? I normally what? don't spend money on clothes. I haven't bought any clothes in probably eight years. Eight? The last time I bought underwear was 1998. Oh, 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 oh. She hasn't bought underwear in 20 years. She 
has the same panties from 20 years ago. If she washes it, though, y'all are not even 20 and y'all are switching shoes at least once a year. That's shoes. Shoes are expensive. Underwear is so much cheaper. What the hell are these grippers? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Top 10 worst feet of all time. What, what the fuck is going on here? It's okay to get soft. You don't even have to get expensive socks. Just new. You don't need expensive underwear. No one asked you to get Victoria's Secret, honey. I don't think I've ever bought socks. This is one of my undershirts that I've had since I was a child, pretty much. <laughs> and I, I got these shorts on sale in 1999. Why do you remember that? Kind of wore out over the years. Are you happy? Shorts have lasted me uh, 13 years going on and hopefully more years. Because if you're happy, I can't I judge. I don't believe in paying for toiletries. I'm subscribed to many different mailing lists and I also keep my eyes on freebie sites whenever I hear of any free sample offer that's for something that I would actually use, I would go and fill out a form. Here are some okay. free samples of sanitary pads and tampons. And also, I like, sometimes I like, go to some promotional events where um, freebies are being given out. Okay. Dental floss, contact lens solutions, toothbrushes, toothpaste. Okay, okay, okay. Samples of deodorants, free samples of razors. I'm a big fan of free samples. Maybe I'm an extreme sampler. I don't do laundry. So you have to pay quite a bit in quarters. So whenever I have dirty clothes, I try to wash them while I'm showering. This is how she washes her underwear. So for, for you saying, oh, well, she washes it for 20 years, she washes them in the shower. Her cooch stinks. Her cooch is suffering. Her cooch probably burns. Okay, I need to get detergent and bleach onto my clothes before I put them in the shower to soak. And once I'm done showering, then I lather up the clothes. I almost never do laundry. I think the last time I did laundry was um, maybe three years ago. And I start wringing out these clothes. Are you just really gonna film her like this naked? I don't um, use a dryer. Not only does the dryer um, waste money, but it shrinks clothes and it wears clothes out faster. Oh, okay. You can keep your clothes looking newer for longer if you don't dry them. Well, I don't All really right. want to do maybe a load of laundry every other week. It costs like $3 to wash and dry clothes. Save maybe $6 a month. $6 a month. Oh, she's saving $6 a month. Okay, she gotta be broke. She gotta be absolutely poor to be doing through this. I don't use toilet paper. I just use water and soap to clean myself off after going to the bathroom. I take this water bottle that I have and I- bring That's just a bidet. I don't need an example. I don't need an example. I don't need an example. That's just a bidet though. I mean, that's not bad, that bad. I don't- <laughs> and I rinse myself off. If I just urinate it, I'm done with that. And then I dry myself off with one of the paper towels I have. If I she uses used paper towels on her cooch. I take back everything I just said. Took a dump. Then I also grab the soap, wipe myself down with the soap, and then I take uh, the water and rinse off the soap. I don't believe in spending money on something that you're just gonna throw away. She got that little piece of soap and said, "Yeah, I just rub the soap." Oh, 